Hi Robins, time for phonics. So we're going to start our session today with our quick recall of the phonemes that we've been doing. We're going to start with phase two, moving on to phase three. How quick can you say the phoneme when I hold it up? Can you beat me? Shall we see? Off we go. B. Mm. G. Oh. S. Mm. Well done, children. E. K. K. R. P. K. O. D. T. A. Well done, children. You're getting really good at phase two. Can we try our phase three ones now? Let's have a look. E. O. J. Ch. Ye. Z. X. Z. Ng. Z. A. I. Sh. Qu. W. Well done, children. I hope you're all using your pure sounds. Remember the pure sounds of what I say. We're not using the letter names just yet. But you're working really, really well at those. Now, today's phony, what we're looking at, which I know, it's this one. It's another digraph. Two letters that make one sound. Do you know what sound it makes? What phoneme it makes? This is the oo sound. Can we all say oo? Oo. So today we are looking at this because this is a very special digraph. It can make two sounds as well. It can make a o uh sound or a oo sound. Today we're looking at the oo sound. Can you all say oo again? Oo. Right, I'm going to pop this on my board. And I would like you to have a think of what words you know that have the oo sound in them. Ooh, what has the oo sound in it? Can you think of any words? Oh, I know. You put this on your plate to eat at dinner time. Food. Food. What? What does food begin with? Food. Well done, children. Now, if you're not sure about how to form your letters, remember you can use your phoneme frame. So we can put this on, I'm going to put this at the top of my board today so I can keep having a look. Help me out, to help me write the words. So if I put this on here, and I'm going to look for So if I look around, I can find my I can write it down, so Ooh, ooh. We know it's there, isn't it? It's that digraph, so we can copy that and link it to our word. Ooh, and what's that last sound? Ooh, d, 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 d. Well done, children. And I'm going to look, and I can see my d there with the drums. I'm going to write that down. Food. Well done, children. How many sound buttons does that have? How many sounds should we find out? Well, we know it's one sound button for the. One for the oo. It's one big one, isn't it? Because it's a digraph. And then one for the d. So how many sound buttons did it have? Three. Well done, children. What other words do we know? Oh, you might go to this place to look for animals. Where might you go? You might go to the zoo. Right. Z. Z. Let's have a look. Can we find... There it is with the bumblebee. Z. That's our first phoneme. So I'm going to do a z. And then, ooh, well, it's there, isn't it? Zoo. Fantastic. How many sound buttons does zoo have? How many sounds does it have? Work it out. So, zoo is for one. And then we have the ooh. It has two. Well done, children. Zoo. Oh, ooh, I eat my ice cream with this. 
What might I eat my ice cream or my yogurt with or some soup with? What might it be? A spoon, well done, a spoon. Let's sound talk that out. Spoon, spoon. So what's that first phoneme, children? Well done, it's a s, so s. What's the next sound? Sp, well done. Sp, ooh. Well, we can take that one here, can't we? And put that there. Ooh. And what's the final phoneme? N. Mm, well done, children. N. Mm, spoon. Is it spoon? And how many sound buttons does it have? Should we find out? We've got s, p, u, and n. Mm, spoon. Fantastic. Now on the website, I have left some words for you to put the sound buttons under. But I wonder if you can think of any more words that aren't on that list. And if you could write those two for me using your phonics. I wonder, could you put any in a sentence? Shall we go right to the sentence now? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remember because I want to add an oo word in it today. And I need my phoneme card to help me with my letters, don't I? But I'm going to rub the rest off. Just use my hands now, children. Can't find my rubber. Right, there we go. Cleared it off. So, it is a spoon. Or I went to the zoo. Which one should we write, children? Shall we go to the zoo? Should we try and have a nice day? So, I. So, the tricky word, I, you'll remember it. I. I. And what do I need to include now? I need to include a finger space, don't I, children? Because we don't want all our words to get jumbled up. So, I went. What? And. What? And. What's the first sound? It's a what? Well done, children. So, went. What? What's next? What? Eh. What? Eh. Mm. Well done. And what's that final phoneme? T. Well done. I went. I went to. That's another tricky word. Can you remember how it looks? What? To, how do I write it? It's a t. Oh, well done, children. I went to the. How do we write the? It's another tricky word, but we've been looking at it all along. Well done. It's t. Uh, eh. I went to the zoo. How would I write zoo? Well done. It's z. And then we've got our oo there. I can copy down here. Zoo. Fantastic. And how do I end my sentence, children? It's with a full stop. Well done. Now, in here, you can see how I've had a finger space between each word so they don't get all go gobbledygook, they don't get all jumbled. And I've remembered my full stop. What I would like you to do today is once you have done all those words and done the sound buttons, I'd like you to have a go at choosing one of the words and putting it in a sentence for me. If you want to write more than one sentence, that would be fantastic and I'd love to see your sentences. And then I would love you to send them to me on Dojo so I can see what you have been doing. Can't wait to see all your phonics children and I'll see you soon. Bye now.